Hi guys, what's up? Um, I know it's been a while I vlogged and to be honest, I haven't been feeling myself at all. By the way, just in case you're wondering, I'm checking out a new apartment for a friend of mine, so that's why I'm, I've not really been feeling up to it, to be very honest, I haven't. And I just thought it'd be nice to start this vlog. I'll tell you guys all about how I've been feeling and all of that. So, I'm just checking the house. The room, the master's bedroom, anyways. But yeah, um, I don't know. I've been feeling somewhat like I'm under pressure. And I don't know what it is. I've been trying to figure it out, to be very honest. And that's why I haven't even vlogged, because I haven't been feeling myself or anything like that. But yeah, I will talk to you guys when I feel a lot better. I just felt like I should start this vlog now that I remember it. So this is somebody that we all need to break his head. What do you think? <laughs> Guys, this is your Afroco doctor. <laughs> this is your Afroco doctor. Is that Afroco in real life? No, okay. I'm, I'm quiet. What? Please, don't be quiet. Yeah, what? Don't, don't be Yo. <laughs> quiet. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, he's reserved, not quiet. Reserved. And this guy told us not to eat suya. So yeah, I don't understand. It's, it's okay, it is moderation. Okay, no, Allah. The question is no problem to see you. <laughs> very fine, I'll see you. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, hi. Good morning. Yeah! Your girl just finished her morning workout and i kind of feel a bit a check okay i know i told you guys when i started this vlog that i wasn't really feeling myself hold on let me get my water okay oh, wow. oh my god ah. i remember telling you guys that i wasn't really feeling myself and everything And I told you guys that I felt like I was a bit under pressure. Um, sometimes I feel like, you know, with my birthday coming really close and me turning 30, it's almost like, <gasps> oh my God, oh my God, you know, like you're turning 30. And you guys know how, like, you just set plans for yourself and say, oh, by 30, this must have happened. By this, this must have happened and i feel like while i've achieved you know some of the things that i set out for myself you know some of the things that i intended achieving before 30 and that's me being financially stable to an extent i'm not where i want to be yet but you know i feel like i'm not where i used to be either and for me that's a lot okay that's a lot to be thankful for that's a lot to be grateful for and i know that there are some people my age you know who still do not even have a bearing you know they don't have an idea of what they want for themselves and i'm not one of those people and i'm thankful to god for that but at the same time i had more expectations but of course they are not here yet i know they will come you know but you know just turning 30 and not achieving all of that it's just like oh my god better are you really doing the right thing are you on the right track and the truth is i've been putting so much pressure on myself and i feel like that's actually bad for me um so i am trying to do better it's not the easiest of things if i'm going to be very honest and i know i'm not the only one that feels this way you know about a new age i know i wasn't feeling this way when i turned 27 i also know i wasn't feeling this way when i turned 28 but as soon as i turned 29 you know it was almost like hey better you have one more year and i think we need to do better you know other than putting pressure on ourselves unnecessarily there are certain things that we do not even have control over 
you know so it's best you just live your life be thankful for the moments that you have and yeah everything will become i think that's why sefiata is it sefiata now oh my god everything good will come is a novel but then it's also a saying you know how they say everything good will come you know but it's a novel i read in school i think it was by sefiata guys let me know if you ever read that book or i'm not something i don't know guys if you have read it please let me know in the comment section but yeah i'm just going to take a shower now i need to go and make my hair today actually this morning because you guys know i've been carrying this hair for the longest you know so i need to go and take it out and i'm super excited i'm going to be doing this two color day let me show you guys i'm going to be doing this lush hair guys look it's the lush um mega braids and this is what color because i know you people are going to ask me i don't know what color this is oh color one and color 30 it's here guys color one and color 30 and this is the mega braids it's pre-plucked okay it's pre-plucked and it's really long and i know that one pack of this will be enough for the style that i'm going for you know so lush ideally i'm not someone who likes to use um uh, pre-plucked i like my hairstylist you know plucking it but the one time my sister used this you know it looked really nice and i felt like you know i was going to do it as well i'm just going to take my bath now and um call my hairstylist to know if she's around you know because it's currently past it's past seven se actually seven thirty something and i know she would open at um uh, maybe nine so i'm just going to get some things done first you know like take a shower um do my morning routine maybe eat breakfast i don't know it's really early for me to eat breakfast anyway so <sighs> let me just take a shower first and i will talk to you guys later okay bye hey guys so i just got my hair done i just did i love it so much i do i love it so much i actually posted a reel on instagram just in case you want to see the whole process and all of that i posted that on instagram okay i just go back out to take a shower because i walked back oh, no i do not walk better shut up i climbed the stairs okay and that's why i'm sweating like this plus i have sunscreen on my face let me just go and take a shower okay i'll talk to you guys later bye workout done i just i want to have my bath now because i'm going to let you today with my sister but i just had to throw the workout in and yeah i'm happy i'm done but first i actually need to cook you know so that when we come back we're not going to stop you know i want to make soup okay i don't think i'm even going to show you guys the entire recipe or something it's just i'm just going to show you guys maybe the final product or the semi final product you know but yeah let's just do that um i'm going to talk to you guys again when i am dressed let me take a shower now and then quickly cook my soup We're currently at Lucius Hair. I think this is just Lucius, yes. In uh, what's this place called again? Inside Lekki. Guys, this is one. Oh, yeah, give us this one. Okay, this one is here. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the next one. You can, you can color this one. Say hi. Do you mind saying hi to my blog? Ah, ah, see, Peggy. Okay, see you all. Hi. I didn't expect that. I know, like, the way you just flip, like, okay. Let's do it. Okay, so I'll say you can, you can, you can, you can always color this later. Oh, okay. So that other brown color. Okay. Yeah, so. Okay. Yeah, I'll pack it for you now. Alright. So, when the next thing is food. <laughs> 
Ja. Look at this one. Guys, hunger. Transfer, please. Okay. Oh, if you have POS. Okay. All right, that's fine. Hi guys, what's up? So I'm actually back home now. Well, my sister and I were back home and we're exhausted guys. We had a long day and it's not even like we did so much, just the traffic alone. Huh. See that VGC traffic? I don't really know. Maybe I just do that bridge fast. Maybe we'll come up for day because they, they cause traffic. We spent almost one hour there and then the normal Ikate traffic, like before we got to Lekki today, you know, before we even got to that hair store where we went to, the hair I even went to get is not for me. I went to get it for somebody, you know, I got it for her and then I also sent it to her, you know, through DHL. She's in the UK. So I just got the hair and then went to DHL straight up, you know, sent the hair. Then I went to get a new fan. Okay. I got this fan today. This fan for the... I think 46,000 naira or something, you know, because the fan that was here, you guys remember when I bought that fan, this is not a blue breeze. I don't really know what it is, blue. It's between breeze and brie, because I don't really, not the blue breeze, so it's between brie and brie, because that's it. So I just carry that one go to my room, because me, if the fan blow me small, go into my body, but when you're in the sitting room, like the fan should be able to blow everybody and everything. So I moved that one to my room, seeing that the one in my room said, Don't already get Costco. Okay, so I took that one out, moved the one that was here to my room, and then you know, we have this industrial fan that's making noise. Okay, it's making noise, but it's blowing. So you need to choose a struggle, and we have chosen our struggle. We want breeze, we can deal with the noise. Okay, until I get money to buy the AC, I never still buy that AC because guys. I have a lot okay you guys know i just came back from home you know like taking care of my dad you know he's recovering now he's still on medications and all of that so i spent quite an amount of money okay so ac now i need them but i don't have the money now so that can wait okay um anyways guys this week is actually going to be an exciting week for me because in fact, tomorrow is going to be an exciting day. Tomorrow is the 20... Wait, let me check. Tomorrow is actually going to be 24th of May. And, you know, YouTube invited me for an event tomorrow. They invited me for another event on Thursday, the 26th. You know, so this week is just... It's just a lot, okay? Tomorrow's event is going to be at Landmark. Actually, both of them would be at Landmark. Um, but the dress code for tomorrow is... um, What did they say? They say we should wear something african you know so i want to wear an ankara dress because i feel like ankara is you know is something that we all can relate to as africans you know so i'll just wear an ankara dress i'm so excited guys i'm really tired i really wanted to talk to you guys about it tomorrow but i don't already jabber okay so yeah i'm going to show you guys or take you guys along with me tomorrow but for now i'm trying to edit some of my shots and then i'll go to bed because i'm really tired guys i'm so so, so tired but today was quite exciting you know aside from the traffic it was exciting and all of that so yeah i will talk to you guys tomorrow okay bye hi guys what's up good morning i know this was in the hair i showed you guys last night and this wasn't the nails i showed you guys last night or the one that was constant you had i had yellow nails on let me just tape okay so this morning i woke up jelly and i'm like okay let me go and redo the front of the braids because for me i had scratched it and i felt like it was rough my sister was telling me that it wasn't really rough you know that it was still okay and everything because it was just how many days ago i showed you guys when i made the hair but for me it was looking rough and when i don't feel comfortable in something i'm just like nah it's not going to stay so we agreed and then i went to my stylist i was like okay Help me take out that braided part, the part I did um, Ghana weaving, you know, and then help me just rebraid everything. Now, on my way there, I bought this meat pie from that chicken pie that's usually in front of Chicken Republic. And guys, I would say it's just today because I usually buy snacks from them. But today, I don't know, maybe the person did not spice things well because I had it. I gave one to my hairstylist. My sister also had it. 
and the three of us we've just been purging so i couldn't even wait to redo the hair i just told her you know what take out everything because i felt like that was faster because you know when they braid it they'll put in hot water they'll trim i did not have that strength because my stomach was rumbling you know so i just took out everything and then just corroded my hair and changed my nail polish so i'm going to wear a wig and at this point it's just the b-fox hair that i'm going to wear because the other of my wigs need to be straightened i did not straighten them i did not even plan to wear wig in the first place so there's really nothing i can do about it so yes our b-fox hair is going to be working today apparently guys the event the youtube event is actually a three days event today being tuesday the 24th tomorrow the 25th and then thursday the 26th of may and i had no idea like i mean i knew about today's event and that of thursday but i completely forgot that of tomorrow and tomorrow's event is a master class and it will start at 10 a.m yeah i just i'm cooking i'm making pepper soup turkey pepper soup once i'm done with that i will take my bath and then be on my way okay so i just thought to report to you guys first okay so that you're not asking i better not be there where she was with this now shit because I'm at the porch, okay? So I had to do what I had to do, okay? I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Our food is ready. I just want to quickly eat and then dash out of the house. And I do not want to eat plenty so that they give us something at the venue. I'll still have space, but guys, I've poured out all my intestines, so let me just eat, okay? All right, guys, I'm ready to leave, okay? I just decided to show you guys my outfits of the day. I told you guys today is themed Africa, and, you know, I'm wearing an Ankara dress. This dress, I'm sure you guys remember when I showed you guys, I bought it ready-made like this, you know, and I have a matching slippers. Even though it's not slippers, I'm going to wear my shoes in my bag, okay? But yeah, this is what... Uh, um, okay. shake. Okay, not the shake off. But anyways, guys, my wig is also in my bag. I'm going to wear that. The weather is really hot, so when I cool off a bit in the ride, then I'll wear my wig. Okay, but yeah, I'm really excited. You people were expecting me to wear makeup. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, you better not, okay, because. Yeah. <laughs> anyways, I will talk to you guys when I get to the event. Okay, bye. <laughs> Crew. This is a VVVIP. I hope there's some Malians in the house though. Uh, Malians, really know how to party. Malians, 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 Malians. Everybody in Amalia, you know, it just depends on the day or the time you catch them. Oh my god, look at that coconut. Oh. Hi. Is that your husband? Chatu, I don't like. Emma, stop my daughter, I don't like. I don't like. I don't like. I don't So, welcome to my office. This is where it goes down. Today. Africa Day, third annual. Woo! It's gonna be wicked. Lagos, are you ready? Okay. Come. Welcome to the Africa Day concert 2022, live on YouTube. With live performances by Usiswa, CK, Dimanche, David O, Drizzle, USB, Medical, Ricardo Bass, Yolanda, Suchu. Hello to everyone across Africa, hello to everyone across the world, and happy Africa Day.
Hi guys, so um, I'm tired. I'm actually just leaving Landmark here. Yeah? The event was amazing. I mean, it's still going on, but your girl is tired, okay? I need to get home. And of course, because we'll be coming here tomorrow again at 10 a.m. So let me just leave. I saw all your celebs. And this is my my newest friend, okay? Her name is Joan. Hi. <laughs> I've been farming her since. She says she's farming me. But I'm the one farms in her. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Um, I need to call it a wrap because I feel like the vlog is getting long. So whatever else happens, you know, tomorrow and that of Thursday, that's going to be in another vlog. Okay, so yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.